Hello, welcome back to the sew along for the Seamwork Chantel dress. If you are following along, we have already sewn the entire front and back of the dress and we've mostly assembled the collar. Today we're going to be learning how to attach the facing um, and we're also going to finish up the collar. So let's get to it. All right, so here is where we left off in the last video with our collar sort of partially attached. So we can't finish the collar yet, or so far we haven't been able to because st we still have to put on the facing and the facing gets sandwiched inside this part of the collar. Okay, so you're gonna take your interface piece J and you are going to finish the uh, raw edge of the like longest side, not the one with the curve on it, but the one with the longest side. So I'm gonna run this through my serger. And okay, so we have our facing pieces finished along that long edge. Now it's gonna get placed right sides together, I need the other one, with the front of your dress. This is where things get a little bit tricky again. We are gonna be sewing at a 3 8 inch seam allowance all along the neckline and all the way down the front. So again, at this little pivot area, I'm gonna to want to mark my pivot point just to make sure it's super accurate. That way we're not playing any guessing games when we get to the machine. So that's the seam allowance coming that way, and this is the seam allowance coming this way. So I know right at that point right there is where I'm going to be pivoting. Now, when you get to the bottom of the dress and the facing down here, we are going to be pivoting at 7 eighths. So at this point here is where I'm going to pivot. We are replacing these right sides together. We're matching up the corner and then all the way down this front edge. For the record, I don't normally use this many pens, but this corduroy is a little bit shifty. So I just wanna make sure it doesn't shift on me long ways, you know? So I'm using more pens than normal. Okay, so when we get up here to this portion of, of the facing, we're gonna be following the neckline. It gets a little thick up through here. Depending on your fabric, you might wanna to switch to clips instead of pins. I don't love sewing with clips, but sometimes it's just a necessary evil. Okay, let's go with that. All right, and we're gonna, like I said, sew this at three eighths, three eighths all the way down here, and then pivot at our seven eighths, and then repeat on the other side. Okay, now it is time to grade and clip our curves so that you know, the curves lay, lay nicely. This time when we grade, we're actually gonna be grading the uninterfaced piece. When you're grading, you're grading the seam allowances that touch the outer part of the, fat, outer part of the garment. So when we turn all this to the right side like this, the uninterfaced, seam allowances is what is touching the garment. Also note that this time we did not trim the seam allowances first. We're only grading, and then we're gonna come in and clip the curves along your neckline. So when you are doing a concave curve, you do triangles. So now we're gonna understitch. Understitching, I've said this a thousand times, is one of my absolute favorite sewing skills. I think mostly because it makes such a difference. Like it's one of those things that it's an extra step, but it's worth it because you can actually tell and see the results of it. So understitching is when you sew the seam allowances, the seam allowances to the facing or the lining. You know, okay, so you're gonna do this as far as you can. You're obviously not gonna be able to go too deep into this corner here. From this hem all the way up to where that dot, 
Then when you get to the dot, you're gonna switch it and that ensures that when you turn your collar, when you turn this little like um, lapel out from your dress like this, that you don't see, like the understitching ends up being right here and so you don't see it when it's turned out. Super cool, right? Okay, so you're gonna do this on both sides. Are y'all watching me play thread chicken? Am I gonna win? I, if I just finish this one, I'll be so happy. I'll have to change it for the hem, but this will be, <laughs> I need this one to be finished. I'm gonna make it what you can't see. <laughs> wow, look at me go, I think I'm winning. I think I won. That's pretty impressive. The next step is to tack your shoulder seam, like this part of the facing, we're gonna tack that to the shoulder seam. Okay, so I wanna show you nice and up close, once this is tacked down, right, this is where we clipped to our seam line, right, and all of this is pressed up into here. It's just really fiddly. It's not difficult. It's just, you know, you got to use your fingers a lot and manipulate everything to do what you want it to do. Then the folded part of the collar gets pulled over that portion so that it ends up looking like this, okay? This is what you're going for. So I'm obviously gonna have to fiddle with this a whole bunch to get it um, to lay like I want. Not a terrible idea to maybe like baste your, like those seam allowances down, but my fabric, you can really see um, every stitch I make. So I'm trying not to do that. But, um, and then from that point, you are going to edge stitch very, very close to this folded edge right here. You're not gonna see it from the right side because your collar is gonna be turned down. But you're gonna edge stitch right along there, catching the folded edge of the collar and ensuring that all of the seam allowances are going up into the collar. Okay, also important to note that we are only sewing between the shoulder seams, okay? Not the entire collar part. Can you see how I'm using this all to um, help push the fabric through? Okay, so from the inside, it looks like this, right? A little funky over here, but not too bad. And then from the outside, it looks like this. And again, you're never gonna see that because all of this gets turned like so, and you never see any of your edge stitching. So if it's not perfectly straight, it's fine. Try not to overthink it. Okay, and that is gonna be it for today, folks. I will, um, Meet you back here at the next for the next video um, where we will be working on the hem and um, sleeves.